Earlier this month at our AT Expansion Town Hall event on health care, one of the medical advances we discussed was the rise in robotic surgery and its advantages. Joining us today is Dr. Francis Buzan. He's a surgeon with the Austin Di Diagnostic Clinic to talk more about that. Thank you for being with us today, doctor. Uh, how did robotic surgery kind of come to the forefront? Well, it's uh, a technology that's been around for at least 10 years, and uh, the initial use of robotic surgery was uh, uh, the, big, the greatest in urology. And over the last five or six years, there's been an increased interest in other fields uh, like gynecology and more recently uh, general surgery. I am a general surgeon, and that's a, uh, techni a technique that I've been using since 2008. And it's a uh, dramatic uh, uh, departure from a lot of the old traditional uh, surgical procedures we, we use uh, in that the technology is so, uh, so mar remarkably improved that the, the ability, the precision and the mm -hmm. visualization uh, mm -hmm. um, of the system is, is a, a dramatic improvement over standard laparoscopy. Uh, in comparison to uh, standard open surgery, for example, uh, the surgeon standing at the bedside and performing through a, you know, uh, a, an open incision into the abdomen, uh, laparoscopy and robotic surgery falls into the category of minimally invasive uh, mm -hmm. surgery. Uh, the, they share, laparoscopy and robotics share the um, approach of inflating the belly full of carbon dioxide to create a working space mm -hmm. and then we place various ports uh, through smaller incisions to place our instrumentation. In standard laparoscopy the surgeon and the team are standing at the bedside holding the instruments uh, and in laparoscopy or in robotic surgery the, there's an actual robotic cart that's pulled up alongside the patient and it has four arms, one dedicated for a camera and three more for various instruments that the surgeon then remotely controls from a separate console. Uh, it's, so it shares some of the uh, same features of inflating the abdomen and using ports through several small incisions, but it's a, a, a great departure from laparoscopy in that when you're driving the system, the surgeon actually has uh, his vis the, the visualization of the intra-abdominal intra uh, mm -hmm. uh, domain is that uh, you see a, through, a true three-dimensional image with depth of field. Mm -hmm. And then the other uh, dramatic departure from laparoscopy is that the instrumentation are all fully articulated. Mm -hmm. um, so it gives me a lot more um, ability to perform uh, the, the surgery from a technical perspective. So obviously benefits for the surgeon, what are some of the benefits for the patient? Well, that on, almost automatically translates to a, uh, uh, an improved technical uh, operation from standard laparoscopy. Uh, the patients also, uh, when you compare minimally invasive to open surgery, the patients go, uh, typically going to experience a lot less uh, pain mm -hmm. because of smaller incisions, better mm -hmm. cosmesis. Uh, typically shorter hospital right. stay, right. quicker recovery, quicker return to work. Mm -hmm. uh, so across the board, and, and usually a lot less blood loss than with open surgery. So uh, the, 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 uh, it's essentially a tool. We're performing the same operations we've done you know, uh, classically, but with a, with a much uh, more precise system. And uh, there continue to be advances in this. You were just saying uh, that we are one of 20 locations across the country to get a FDA approval on a new surgery. Right, so recently there was a new platform that uses the same system but with a slight modification to uh, allow us to perform our, uh, and it's on label use for uh, by FDA approval right now is for gallbladder surgery mm -hmm. but uh, we're able to do this operation through a single incision placed uh, on the abdomen, on the um, uh, belly button mm -hmm. with essentially near scarless uh, uh, results and the recover uh, the, the actual performance of the operation in comparison to laparoscopy is equally as efficacious if not um, better technically and then the, the results are, you know, uh, with standard laparoscopy it's four incisions, this is one incision uh, nearly scarless and the recovery again and the cosmetic outcome is a lot, uh, yeah. a lot improved. Just incredible work that you guys do. Thank you so much for being with us this morning. Thank you so much.